Hi, Oksana. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, thank you for doing this again. And uh, yesterday I had a session with um, a Russian woman from Russia in, in Russian language. We did this session. She, she, she just told me, let's just do some topic. She never told me the topic, which is good. I prefer not to know. And uh, it was about the Hadron Collider that they um, launched in the beginning of this year, in January 2022, after three year uh, period of not using it. Well, that's what they say officially uh, because of the pandemic, you know. So well, let's see why they did it and what, what you see. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just curious what you're going to see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that. So close your right. eyes. Tell me. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm ready. I'm already seeing stuff. So, um, when um, I look like over it, I kind of see that mm -hmm. it's contained. Kind of. There's like um, energetic force field or something. You know. Mm -hmm to contain kind of uh, what they're doing, or at least trying to. Um, Shape of it. You know, and um, I've, been, I've been having a lot of dreams, like I told you, you know? I think that maybe, I see portals, I see they're trying to, um, do you want to both close our eyes and see each other in the etheric and just go check yeah. it? Because okay. I, I had some physical, very strong sensations yesterday when doing it. Okay. Let's just find each other first. Do you see me? Yeah, I, I was seeing you like, yeah. Yes. Can you see me? <laughs> yeah, I see you. I see you in some sort of like, it's like a light coming from above, but then you're like in this um, kind of cone, cone light, like somebody's, like it's coming in a way, it's uh, from, from above to down, but yeah, I touch you, it's you, it's your DNA. Let's just go to that moment when they launched the collider, as they said, uh, what was the main purpose for it? How do you see it? What it's connected to? And well, first thing I see is like all these, um, you know these ancient clocks, how the mechanisms would be intertwined into one another, interlocked into one another? Like, yeah, it came like, to me as a key. Yeah, like an ancient mechanism, but it's like, it's technology. Right, like the seven pillars of light and the eight one. I'm feeling energy like through my hands. I'm saying this. <clears throat> look what the collider does when it's activated. Like, look, look, the, um, and also look at the um, center of the earth. Like, I saw it clearly yesterday. Yeah, I'm seeing Stonehenge. Like, it's connecting to all the um, major um, stargates. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> sorry. When I see through the earth in like it's it's these technologies, these crystal technologies that they're trying to access information through time. Okay, who's who's uh, who's doing it? Who is behind the whole idea of using this collider, activating it after three years of not doing so, unless it's not true. Well, that they've been doing all three years. I see it's not, it's it's coming from outside of uh, humanity, like it's, I see uh, extraterrestrials. I don't, I don't know which ones though. They have like, I see they have like these big heads and like black, 
robes. They're like... I, I'm hearing Orion, so I guess it's some kind of Orion group. I'm not so... Um, I don't know how these things are. But that's what I'm seeing. Spiral in the shape of an egg, like right in the middle of the Earth, that contains the uh, essence of the planet. It's like a technology around it to change the electromagnetic field of it into that way you can control it by using colliders. Yeah, what I see is um, when you said that, I saw, I, I really see like, it's like liquid. It's like, yeah, it's like an egg and it has different colors, like layers kind of in it. And the middle is kind of more shiny and it's real, it's linked with uh, all kinds of threads linking to uh, many other circuits of um, networks, I guess. Go, go in the layer where the egg opens up and there's like, opens up. And then go into this plasma, what you call liquid or whatever. Um, what is happening there? It's consciousness. Do you see any portals opening, anything like this, wormholes or? I, I, I heard like a voice or something like, a, I didn't hear a voice really, but I kind of felt a feminine essence, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, let me, um, you see when I, when you said, look, I see that the top kind of opens, it could open and in, from inside that would be like, um, how they would get to it or something. Yeah. You know, it's really interesting what I saw yesterday. I was in this plasma kind of field. It's like a layer, right? They created it was a collider. And that plasma was opening like a Golden Gate, uh, Stargate. It came to me as a name Golden Gate and was connected to the sun. And the thing is like they were trying to connect it to multiple portals to repopulate some of the above the Earth's um, uh, theory. Uh, kind of um, a rea a reality pockets in a way like territory yeah. well, that's uh, what I'm seeing with these threads it's like pulling from that and they're like it's like a drill they kind of drilled into it to get the essence out of it maybe to suck it into these different portals through the earth is that what you saw Right, like yesterday, I'm I connected was... to the pillar, the middle pillar of the earth. Sorry, Oksana. No, no, that's fine. I feel, I feel like still feel it, but not as strong as yesterday. When I entered this plasma layer, I started coughing so badly. Like it just like, um, I felt like it's for the, um, some sort of chemical weapons technology. Also, this collider is used you know, to uh, to enter the atmosphere, the layers of it, uh, by because there's something about these chemicals that they create the perfect environment for opening portals. That's what I feel. It's, it's the gold. It's the gold uh, essence. It's like essence and it's kind of gold color. It's like gold dust. Because they're trying to, what, what they're trying to do is, I felt like they got so many AI entities uh, collected in certain areas that to keep the balance going for now they have to repopulate them and where there are destroyed cities or whatever related to this war they're gonna push the entities over there to create this balance because people fled from those areas and uh, and then the areas are gonna be filled with entities but today I feel like the entities are getting stuck to plasma, which is like... Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. It's like getting together, mixed together. Yeah, like, we see how reverse the thing. And then because I also today in the vision saw myself on the other timeline as if I never left Kiev, as if I'm still living there. So, which is interesting because it just shows you that it's still going the way it was going, but 
right now is the idea is if you face the whatever is happening right before you, right, and don't push it away because you're afraid of it, to accept that it's just the, um, you know, it's it's a physical truth, okay? Because physically you have to move somewhere, you have to do something. Yeah. That's I feel a lot of people are just kind of shutting down their physical eyes, physical reality, and going only into the... Um, Mm, non-physical but that's a wrong kind of way to do it because we always have to balance since we have the physical exactly. you know we can't just shut down the body and I'm seeing it merge you know like I'm seeing like uh I know it's kind of cliche but you know like the yin yang kind of thing that it's it's like you have to see both of it and act on both sides you know like in the physical you have to act upon what's going on in the physical okay. And also this layer, it's like, um, you know, like a cell has a membrane. It's like a membrane made out of um, some sort of material, which which to me is like jello, like sticky material. Right? Yeah, like yeah exactly. Shield. And yeah. that plasma shield also, I see like cords connected to it into the um, this common um, consciousness field, right? Yeah. This consciousness field is raining on us all the possible negative uh, scenarios they can possibly create or create it in their library of thought of programming and that's why I feel they're gonna be shooting at us look what they're um, showing at the movies look 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 you have to stock up on food you have to do this and that it's all fear-based because they need to this giant machine they have to keep it spinning. So they'll probably come up with new ideas, new viruses, new all kinds of stuff that you can possibly imagine, right? Well, all it's all like both is raining right now and it's like all intertwined. It's like right. raining so much information, so much. And I see like, you know what, when you said the AI, I see it like black little bugs, you know? And I see the golden energy, and it's like really um, each other trying to like Pac Man's, you know, trying to eat each other. And yeah, and I also see like this original humans, and then the the life is different. The way the program works, nobody eats anybody. Everybody mm -hmm. lives in harmony. And then I see, like yesterday, I saw in this other session, the the bald eagle birds all down, like like the whole ground is covered with black birds. But it's almost like a metaphor because mm -hmm. yes, uh, yeah. we, we're gonna see the golden sunrise of the golden um, energy was the number eight, eight pillars of light, seven. Uh, not seven keys, but eight keys. I'm not seeing eight. it around the earth, that golden energy, you know? And yeah, but right now it's kind of spread out and it's being pushed out by the energy created by people. Yeah. Because they are, um, you know what? It's kind of like this. Something is happening, you, you have to admit it, uh, you know, uh, ad admit that it's happening, okay, yeah. And like, what can you do about it? You know, you, you can stay focused and uh, act accordingly and not lose your mind. But that's what I feel like a lot of people are kind of losing it. And and they also fighting with each other and they're losing energy that way. So it's either way, the energies yeah. are pushing yeah. people to fight with each other. And it's just a pocket of time when they're going to test us. Are you going to fight about this stupid series we are bombarding you with that you're going to be dying from hunger here or there or they're going to start a nuclear weapon going on and which none of this is true but people are buying into this and they're bombarded, bombarded, bombarded with the stupid um, articles or videos about all this scary scenarios. It's you know. polarization. People are getting pulled on one narrative that is not, you know, correct, and the other that is not correct. And the, the thing is that everything is, is like happening, so we need to 
merge it. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like two co two colors, and then I'm seeing the right thing to do is like to merge it because it's balance, and that's what we need to do right now. It's balance. The thing is, like I'm actually focusing my energy. That's why I don't watch anything. I'm focusing my energy on helping those who need help right yeah. now physically. Because physically, as we know, there are people who are like, you know, who don't have a home to leave or whatever. So it's it's kind of, it's a different type of um, help. Because I actually That's acknowledge true. that it's happening. It's not just a movie. Like, you know, they want you to believe. And in that belief, you totally buy into this narrative of the trap of 5D related to 5G, related to cyborg, um, you know, uh, the whole cyber kind of like AI generated war, which your mind would be connected to. Mm -hmm. and, but you can still, you still can disconnect. The problem with cyborgs that I see that they first came up with this program on the moon that I've seen so many times, long time ago that once you're in a cyborg body you cannot get out it's kind of like the body drives you right now we drive the body with our subconscious this body is biological mm. cyborg's body is non-biological because i was on series b when they used my soul in a cyborg body i okay. felt it was inside but i couldn't get out i couldn't control it it was running a program i, I was just a juice for it just a battery just energy you know what I mean? And that's like the worst case scenario that can happen unless you start not only listening, but still being being driven by the narrative that you heard somewhere and believed in it and made it your, it's, it's almost like a prayer, you know, people have in their, in their minds that that's how it is and then nothing else can exist. But I think I think that with the collider, <clears throat> they're trying to do exactly like what you just said with your soul and the cyborg, you know, like they would want to control the soul of the whole humanity and the planet with this technology and um, so many different technologies you know so many different things are um possible i guess and it's just right now we're clicked into the one that's um bringing in all this craziness and all the people that are already weakened well they're all kind of clicked into that uh feed of narrative so that's why it's it's so strong yeah, yeah I, know. I also like i keep seeing area 51 and that there is a heist alert there that they're afraid that they'll be exposed to the whole world what they're really doing there the genetic experiments yeah just came to me right now well, a lot of things are being exposed also it's like chaos so um of course if they're playing with fire they're going to set fires somewhere so it's not like it's these colliding things these colliders it's like playing um playing uh like your universal consciousness you know and it's not it's not that so it's it's like, you know, it's really wild if you buy into the series and into um, kind of like any of the series of AI generated, right? Then you power the collider. If you don't buy into the series, the collider to me opens, uh, on one hand, it can open the golden stargate, which is good for us. On the other side, it opens the black holes for the uh, dark entities to enter to move freely in between the layers of densities, right? Yeah. That's what I feel. And then they can like uh, inhabit pocketed realities all over the place. And that's probably, I, I had this very vivid dream today, like a vision, like I realized I was awake in it, you know? Yeah. Uh, that it was, I was living, uh, I never left 
to come here to the US and I was back in Ukraine and it felt like it was my other life. Um, but those are pocket realities. They're like, they're like, I've been getting these dreams too. And it's like really crazy realities with uh, like the same people and like, I, like same street, but it's like two streets merged into one. Did you get that? Like, let's say two streets you know in Kiev, and but it's like... It's every time you make a decision that kind of, you kind of split and this uh, in two, right? And then this, this, this you who never made that decision to go the other way is still living in a way um, in that, that way without making that decision, right? If you want to leave your house or you want to marry or here you decide not to marry. Yeah. And it's, it's just like, and we, we kind of have this, we kind of look like, you know, this toy, the, the kid's toy was the handle and the multiple, uh, the light turns on and there are transparent fibers, like plasticky kind of yeah. thread. Yeah, yeah. And they all point to different directions. That's how we see us. We are, the, we are the battery and the battery lights up and we generate all kinds of possibilities around us, how we can lead our life. The problem is when this light gets grabbed by somebody. But you know what? There's so many people told me lately, like for the past couple of weeks, they've been tested so many times in in their dreams, with, which were vivid lucid dreams, yeah. that they they were taken by aliens and did they have the and they all were prepared. They all said, No, you know, I refuse to be taken. Leave me alone and that that very uh, second they felt drop back into the body. So see, it just kind of like everything you learned before this period, you have to exercise in the physical reality and take it rather seriously because this physical reality exists. You cannot just escape it and lay, you know, this bubble of non-physical and be there, but you kind of have to move through it because that's how it is. and. All these traps of, I don't see us. Do you see, <coughs> us, like, from this physical to some um, <coughs> not physical body with time or whatever? Excuse me. Uh, usually, see, you, you know, like there's a theory about people uh, going into crystalline body or whatever. Yeah. You know, well, new age stuff. I see. Um, <laughs> I see a lot of different things like you've been talking and I was seeing like uh, geometrical shapes um, around me uh, like crystal um, very pale colors like around me like it was like um, I guess protecting or something I, I, I feel that um, I don't know it's like a lot is going on and um, there's a lot of ways of seeing it and different perspectives through different realms, you know, so, and I also see that um, what they're bringing in through these different um, pockets, like you say, it's contained. So they're like testing or something through these realities. And me personally, in my dreams that I've been getting lately, I really feel that I'm in like pocket realities that are or, or other realities that are not necessarily my um, stream of reality in this um, life. You know, it's really like um, very weird and it's not um, like a decision that I would have taken. So it's, I understand what you're saying, but related to these um, what's going on in the astrals right now, it's really weird. So a lot of very bizarre things are going on and um, yeah. I, I'm like, I am flying above the earth. First I saw like a Rubik's cube surface with squares and each square gets flipped the opposite color, which something is going to go in each and every country like that flipping. Mm. And this is metaphorical thing. 
but then I see, I clearly see the woods, you know, like a lot of woodland. And then I see like a lot of water and trees are in water. And then there's fog and there's like a transformation. And then I see the melting of the ice and go in a certain way to, it has to make a circle and connect like in a complete circle. This melting of the ice is going to be the cleansing of the earth. The water is information. The information has to unite with the other water and to power it up with the original information. Kind of overlapping. Everything is like flipping and overlapping. That's what I feel. Yeah, etherically, I've been seeing a lot of... Uh you know, like energy moving around the earth and going through the poles inside and flipping outside, like making this kind of a uh, movement, you know, like that's bringing, uh, mixing all the energy. So that's etherically. So I guess that maybe on uh, um, an earth level. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, and then I see the lizard's face. I see the grids, you know, like the ley lines and the veins that where the um, they're they're intertwining, like that where they're uh, intercrossing. Sorry, um, like all these are shooting energy also. Yeah. So all this is merging, and it's, it's like I see that it's over all the rest. Like if you go under that, it's all kind of fog and and a lot of um, different. Things going on, but over the, that, the sorry, into the underground rivers, and then I feel like the underground rivers push all the beings out, not only etheric, but also the lizard, uh, amphibious lizard people, or humanoid mm -hmm. forms, and other reptilian yeah. forms. Um, because what I see with the holograms I've been telling you is that these things, and I've also seen a lot of um, spinning of energies, and, and it looks like, you know what, the, the bees, their their wings, okay, it's round, it, it makes exactly these kind of circles, and it's golden threads, I see. And then I saw, like, you know, these bee um, shapes, you know, but it's, like, really... Uh, holographic and all this with the other pink hologram that I saw it's bringing like really high energy and it's doing exactly what you just said it's like pushing uh, on every level uh, everything out you know it's like it's like forcing stuff to move so of course it's creating chaos and and um, but it's so exactly I guess what is going on it's a, it's like a tug of war that's what I see. It's like the people with real souls are pulling on their side the rope. Mm -hmm. The artificial, um, you know, those beings created by the machine of um, uh, artificial intelligence is pulling on the other side, but it looks like they're running out of power. I'm seeing right now a blue and white huge light coming, you know, like when you were talking about that, like I, I felt it was connected to maybe you or something, but it's like multi-layered and it's like spinning and it's like burning stuff, like it's really etheric. So I'm feeling that a lot of higher programs are, are melting down the others, you know, I'm sorry I cut you off. No, no, it's, it's actually exactly what I'm doing. I feel like I came here for this time. Yeah. And you're like in the middle of this fire, but it's not fire. It's like, looks like fire, but it's water fire. And you're like, that's your, like your body's inside of that. And there's all these other layers that you're like shooting out. And it's like all these, it, I'm going to call it technology, but it's, it's etheric, holographic, very high technology you know it's like it's it's not even com comprehensible and i'm feeling it so strong in my spine you know and all these things are geometry and different types of um you know um 
overriding systems that are working together. Um, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Pushing, yeah. It's creating a very strong, like, uh, you know, like when you see the atomic bombs, what they do, boom. Right. So it's doing that and it's creating all this vibration through everything, kind of. Mm -hmm. So that's why everything is joining right now, So because it's affecting everything, of course, because this is getting intense. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that's why I kind of like drop down at 3 p.m. to sleep for four hours until seven every day because I feel it's almost in my head it's time to work. But yeah. there's a lot of people working at a different levels. And you're as big as the earth, you know, like your your energy body, it get, it's, 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 it's the size of earth. And I see myself like that, too, you know, so we're getting we're being, you know, connecting to different Yeah, it's it's true. It's hard to yeah. explain. You kind of and reminded me this uh this this one seer. I wasn't even awakened yet, and she looked at me. Actually, my friend gave her my picture, and she said like she has tremendous energy. She just doesn't know how to use it and where to focus it. <laughs> well, I'm seeing you know like uh, your your energy. It's like making all these um. You know, like the sand that falls into uh, like this time counter. I have no idea how you say that in, in English. And you turn it around to count time, and it's sand falling. You know, yeah, like and, and like this. Yeah, and your energy is like inter uh, locking into each other, and it's like creating like what we said with the earth, like the <laughs> switching of the energy. And I really see that with my own energy when I do my grid work, that we're really shifting things and, and changing things. And it, of course, it's affecting things, but things need to change right now. So it's like... Right. It's, no, it's, so it's, it's true. And it's true. I get energy from nowhere. I don't even eat much. But I can walk outside for two hours by myself and up and down the stairs forever. <laughs> I know. Because yeah. we're connected to to like um, our divine, all all uh, like it's like a quantum. Every possibility, quantum, divine, all knowing self, whatever, and it's like inf infinite. So it's it's not taking from us really. I never feel that it's taking from me and it's taxing on me. It's tax. It's it's like ever ending um, creation. So. So I'm sorry. I see Canada. I see island. I see a big oak tree. On a, on a big oak tree, I see um, hanging like a golden egg. Inside the golden egg, there's a golden, uh, looks like a needle thing. The egg opens up. The needle, when, when I hold the needle, it creates like a um, blue beam, kind of like a very powerful ray. And it adds to the other beams and it creates like an obelisk. And then obelisk goes into the uh, ground, into the earth, hits the me metallic, um, um, artificially created egg. It splits into halves and the earth's essence emerges from it. And that's when we flip the electromagnetic field. The electromagnetic yeah. field, as we know, does not exist anymore. That it, it came to me like a legend of an oak tree on an island with the egg. Do, do you have anything like this? Island, Canada, oak tree island, something like well, this? Well, when you talked about that, it made me think about what we saw at the beginning with the egg, you know, and the thing that I was seeing drilled, kind of, you know, because it's, it's different aspects, I feel, of expressions you know of this because you know how you said that there's different realities that were like so it's the same thing for our earth so like i don't know about canada but when i'm seeing this tree and the egg and this intertwining with the blue energy well it's like another 
another density, maybe. I'm not saying it's completely another Earth, but it's another perspective of this that I saw at the beginning because all these layers and this Wait. thing is, is. Oak Island. Oak Island is 57 hectare privately owned island, Lunaburg County on the south shore of Nova Scotia, Canada. Yeah. Isn't that like uh, the place? Oh, oh wow! Yeah, that that's the place that they would do like um, magic and stuff like that because it's connected to stargates. That's what I'm seeing, and I'm seeing like a white tree, like a uh, frozen or something. That's what I'm seeing. I think we we talked about this with. Uh, James, maybe. I don't remember. Interesting. It looks like a magical place. It looks like all around. <gasps> Wait, it looks like an eight. <laughs> the picture totally looks like an eight. It's kind of interesting. Come. It's like a big and then a small one. It's beautiful there. Mm. Oh, mm. I see it as that. It's like. Um... The, the energy there has been, been frozen or it's been contained or something. Like I see it's, it's like the trees are like frozen maybe into time or. Yeah, I don't know. I see so many birds lately in the visions and like this egg and like we're getting hatched out of the egg comes to me a lot and then artificially um artificial um intelligence uh created this egg like a shield uh, and that's why we have this sort of field which totally disrupts the um <laughs> physics that we're supposed to be here i feel like the whole thing here is just like you know, even the physics that we study in school, it's all um, part of this artificial reality. Yeah, exactly. But there's there's overlapping right now, and there's like difference. And and you know how I see it is that it's it's copycat. You know, like they're gonna always um, artificially try to copy the organic to confuse. So I it's that's. Like it I, I see it. I, I feel like it has everything to do with electric, electricity of the soul, the energy. You can call it electrical, I don't know. Be, because the planet itself, the electricity comes from the ground, comes from the essence of the... It's like the body inside the egg, it's like that yolk, right? Where the uh, baby chicken is formed, the yellow. I see this is like a soul of our planet, it's inside. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Oh yeah, I got disconnected because it <laughs> was that island in the oak tree. There's a Russian interesting uh, poem about the oak tree on an island. And there's a chain on the oak tree and there's a white black cat walking around and guarding the uh, treasure chest. Inside the treasure chest there is an egg, inside the egg there is a needle. And it's like I connected all these things, what I saw and thinking, wait, everything has a truth. It's a very old fairy tale, everybody knows mm. it. But I feel that there's like these two overlapping, like I see it gold and I see it blue. You know, I see both of them. And when you said that oak tree, and now you're saying that with the, the needle, and it's like, that's the hole that I'm seeing on top of it kind of thing, you know? Like, it all it's all connecting to what you're just saying now. And like I said, there, you know, there's both, so. Right, the Easter egg. Egg is, is how we pierce yeah. it right. to no push it out. Push it, yeah. You, you know, put the, the life, oak and it fly out, and you create a dead. It looks beautiful, but it's still it's dead. And it's empty, outside. and it's decorated. Right, oh. you put the life outside. It's kind of like 
look looks beautiful. There's so Definitely. much, yeah. But you know how I heard like this liquid gold. I didn't hear it because I and it's not that. It's just that I felt like a woman, you know, like a like a creator. Not not just a woman, but it's like you know how we. Energy type of creation because I think we're switching back to the feminine creation. And it's like both need to merge. So male kind of like right. Yeah, it's like the blue male and the gold women that these two energies need to work together, I guess, you know, or something needs to, you know, we need to, it's like. Makes sense because I was thinking like there's a reason why all my incarnations are male, but this is the first one female. It's got to be a reason for it. Not only because I wanted to experience having kids and being a mother, but also there's some other reasons. Results always multiple, right? Because the yeah, because the golden one is so liquid and it's still like crystalline, and the blue one is so like straight lines more and more holographic, um, digital kind of thing. It's the light of the sun of the original sun. Yeah, so it's like two different energies but it's like hot and cold and whatever you know and yellow hey ukrainian flag yeah it's gotta be too there's uh you know you know the thing is it all connects there is always a reason why you know everything goes in this particular direction yeah because we are smarter than AI. Even if AI created the war by using those as chest figures, you know, to create it to begin with, then we are always outsmart the AI. That's exactly. what I believe. Because Even it's the... That only 30% of us and 70 AI, you know, controlled people right now as we see it. But we're still, our mind is so strong, like, you know, it was in so many sessions already when the draconians or reptilians or gray said that when they think with their mind that they refuse to participate in what we're trying to get them to, mm -hmm. then that's it, they're out. Yes, and that's what I'm seeing. Like, you know how with me you say that the, uh, like my energy or my essence would melt, you know, the technology, mm -hmm. the um, things I had, and it's like, you know, like the macro and the micro, and it's like the Earth's golden energy and us, and that's the thing. It's like overriding it and, you know, like l wrapping around it. And the other one is like a parasite, and the other one is like just right. wrapping it in, in, in honey. Like you're all sticky with it, you know, and it's like, mm. I don't know, it's very different. It's so different. So they can't, it's not fighting it. It's like, phew. You know, it's so... Yeah, and look at the, uh, like, back to Ukrainian flag. So yellow signifies the uh, sunflowers. Mm -hmm. Who is the sky? So, uh, for me, air is like water. Mm -hmm. Air, water, the same thing. Fire and, and yeah. the sunflower holds, it's connected to the sun because it has the And root. the earth. And then the little black seeds, it's almost mm -hmm. like souls in a shell. The shell opens up, the soul comes out. The soul is like beautiful, this uh, whitish color, right? Mm -hmm. It's like everything has a little bit of, if you connect. It's it connect all intertwined. Right. Everything is the same thing in a different way of um, unfolding kind of thing. It's, it's all like the same blueprint but through different settings of patterns. So it's like unfolding. Me, I'm, I'm a little bit like this and you're a little bit like this, but it's all like the same. And we, we are understanding it more and more through all this chaos and we, like... No, like I you said, like you said, we have to fight, well, not fight, but I mean, use the... the, the uh, things that we need to do like on earth like you know with what's really going on on earth and also understand that there's other kind of uh playing going on there so 
it's not being only on one side, like the people that don't see it all what's going on here and being only on the other side and not understanding that you still, not everybody, of course, but I mean, you know, so it's, that's mastering, I guess, mastering this, right. being a Jedi, you know, like. <laughs> also, yeah. like, look how we got connected and start supporting each other. And I feel like I'm more focused and like goal oriented. I know exactly what I have to do today, tomorrow, you know, mm -hmm. what we're doing together as a family. We're more kind of united even, clear yeah. It all together, just it's it's fascinating. This this is a good part of it. All it's, so it's, it's making a, us yeah. It's making us stronger in in a sense that now we're like, because that it get we get complacent when nothing's happening. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. very very hard to really put your finger on it. Oh yeah, that's that's it because it's not just one thing. It's so many things, and it's like, okay, I need to be uh, playing all this together, and that's that's mm -hmm. it right now. That's it. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Uh, because you know, with the CERN, I still see all these little things, and it's all they're like testing all these things, and it's like that's crazy. That is crazy. That's not gonna happen. Like, so. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's pretty interesting the whole idea. Okay, well, mm. thank you and it was it was interesting. It was good. I mean, there's yeah. stuff came came up with with you that I was by myself yesterday in the Russian session. <laughs> because we don't, you know, we have different perspectives. Yeah. So it's yeah, important it's, to it's pretty much the same. We kind of stimulate each other into a certain right. direction. Yeah. And I liked seeing you in this big form with the earth and all your geometry, you know, around you. And you were like spinning it out and yes. how you said everything was pushing it. I'm right. still feeling it in my back, like the energy, like, and we're real, you know, we're this human kind of freaking out. But we're this thing also that we tap into, like when we connect together more. Than when we're by ourselves, you know. I, for me, I see it more clearly when I'm with someone like you, you know, that we can plug ourselves together and through our good, real mm. self, and then we can kind of make it real, more real through our consciousness. Right, exactly. Yeah, because I also feel like I've been teaching about the energies and connecting them on Sirius gotta make and i always feel this like you know this you you're the same Absolutely. way you're like a warrior i feel like ah, hey, you can shoot at me i'm just like expand myself and yeah. And, yeah 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 so, oh but 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 that's the point then i don't understand why people buy into this theories back to you know let's stuck up on food and the nuclear war is coming and all of this ignore all this stuff because you know, they're stuck the, in this this cloud that we saw to outside chaos, mm -hmm. and that's what exactly what they're trying to do to you, you know. So you're spread out and like whom to believe and what to do. Should I run to the store or not? I'm not running anywhere. You know, it should be fine because when you're stable and focused, you are mm -hmm. safe. Yeah. So, but yeah, let's finish up with that. Okay. Thank much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>